Hey, headhunting housewives. I'm worried this is going to cut off right now because I don't know why Zoom is clicking in and off like this, but it's free Friday. If this cuts off, I'm going to keep my voice going um, so that I can save this. Let me try just to stop this a second. Hold on and see if this can come back on better. No, I'm still doing it. Great. So, okay. I'm going to speak to question and answers today for you. And the one question I had from someone recently um, was how, when you're working on my jobs, <clears throat> and the candidates will ask what company that we're hiring for. How do you get around that? Because obviously I'm sharing with you the companies we're hiring for, but asking you to keep it private just because candidates can often um, bypass us as time goes by and try to go direct at a company. And, and if that happens, that we often won't get paid, not because the company is trying to cut us out, but just that, you know, they have so many things going on as well, or careers they might work with. If a candidate comes to them direct, it's hard for them to track where that person came from. And they pay out, you know, thousands of dollars, obviously, for candidates. So it's a big deal. So what you want to do, just let them know um, when you're speaking to them that it's a, you can tell them it's like a healthcare company. You can tell them in the city that it is. Like right now we have the, you know, the jobs we've been hiring for in Philly or Texas or Tampa. And you can mention you know, the, the city that it's in and give them information about the background as far that, you know, it's a great culture that your firm here at Salesforce has been working with them for, you know, since the past year and have done some great hires and people are very happy with the managers. You can speak a little bit about the manager without giving names away and just let them know right now you're just pre-screening and finding great candidates to move forward. And if, um, we like your background, the next step, which would either be to me, um, or direct the candidate, or I'm sorry, direct to the client. Um, at that point, um, they'll let that we would let them know the name of the company and all. In fact, even if we decide to move them direct to the client, if it looks good enough for you did a great job sourcing, screening and recruiting them. And I see the resume and they're like a home run. I don't need to speak with them. I can still send them the link or have you send them the link either way to the company so they can do a little research before speaking to the direct manager. So that's how you kind of play that, just making them aware of the reasons why. Once they understand that, they usually get it. That again, if they're moving forward, then we'll share the company name. But at this point, there's in the beginning a preliminary screening process. So that was one question um, I want to answer here on this, um, on this Friday call. The other one I'm trying to think was, oh, I think I already covered the job hops, but just to make sure, you know, I, I, and I get this multiple times, like, you know, are job hops good or bad? They assume to be bad. Yeah, you don't want a lot of job hops, but again, make sure you're looking deep at the resume to make sure it's not like hops within one company. And sometimes it looks like a lot of job hops, but really they just got promoted, which is a good thing while at that same company. Or like if you're hiring recruiters, like we are, contract recruiters, have lots of different clients it might look like they've worked for a lot of different companies but really this has been different projects and contracts they've had so it's a little bit different than a regular employee moving from a company to company because they're being fired or hired kind of thing so just look deeper at that to make sure that's not the case um and then finally i feel like there's another question that you guys were asking me i'm not thinking of right now but let me leave it at that for right now, especially since my Zoom's not working. I'll still get this out there. But if you have any other questions that you want answers to, I'm still doing these free Fridays to put out um, to everyone when I can. I'm, and I'm doing these in the private group sometimes as well, so I can give you more detail on the specific jobs you're working. Um, but if you have any questions um, for me, please do email it my way. And that way I can then um, do one of these for you. Hopefully again, more live time when my Zoom is working better. So hope everyone is doing great. Happy May, everybody. It's May 1st, 2020. So we're still in these Corona days, but things are moving along. People are still getting hired. We're all making money, still recruiting. So congratulations to you, Head Any Housewives, that are learning this and doing this right now. So have a great weekend, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.